Hi, it's Laura from Sweet Diddy, and I'm doing a quick video on a project for a birthday party for some sweet girls that are going to be working on this really neat ballet dancer art for their spaces. And so I'm going to get started with the canvas part first. Um, this is just kind of going to be a little bit of an experimentation um, with the paints that you receive. So I'm doing sort of gray, black, um, and some green color in the background. And then my ballet dancer I'm going to do in black. But I want my background to be super, super dry before I apply the stencil because I'm going to be putting the sticker down on top of the paint and we don't want to peel off our background when we go to peel off this part. Hey, Reagan, can you grab me the white that's in the closet? I have an assistant on hand real quick. I forgot white because I want to blend. I need white and um, the gray. So I'm just going to do a little bit of some experimenting with the colors in the background. It's paint, so if you don't like it, you can just keep working and painting over some things until you have it the way you like it. And then um, we have to let it dry really, really good before we do the other part. And so I'm doing mine the long way and I'm gonna get my paints just kind of ready on, um, on this paper plate. I'm gonna do a little bit of black for the background. I'm going to kind of start dark on the outside and then get light towards the center so that it kind of looks like um, the light is shining on our dancers. So the outside, I'm just gonna do a little bit darker. The white is in a jug and if it's not on the shelf, it's next to my desk on the floor because I was using it earlier. So I'm just going to get some black going on this outside edge just a little bit because I'm going to kind of blend it together. So you can kind of see I'm doing a little bit of black on the outside because I want that inside center to be like the light is shining on the dancer. So a little bit of black. And I'm going to be painting all in one direction, so sort of up and down. I hope you can see my space here. I'll turn it around here. I'm just kind of doing the whole, just sort of outside edge for now. I'm going to get a little bit of white and gray now mixed on to that black. I don't want it to be super, super dark. Gonna get some white going, sort of some gray going, and sort of get this sort of background the way I like it. So I'm just sort of going up and down. I'm not really loading my brush too much. And you can see that's kind of blending it a little better. I'm kind of giving it this sort of smoky-like look, kind of like the shadows in the background a little bit. So I have some white, some gray, and some black, and I'm just sort of kind of dabbing it all together. I think you can kind of see that on my... And if I get it too light, it's paint, I can go back and add some more black, I can add some more gray, some white. So you're just sort of experimenting a little bit with how you want this paint to look. So this is kind of step one, getting our sort of background here. And like I said, I'm just kind of doing the outermost parts the darkest. I'm gonna add just a little bit more black.
on that edge. Okay, so that's kind of what I have so far. Let me turn it kind of sideways so you can see it. And now I want to introduce the color that I'm using. So I'm just going to kind of dab off my brush a little bit. And the color that I'm using, I'm going to probably be kind of mixing them too a little bit. Um, sort of this minty green color. And so now I'm going to put this really light color, the color that I wanted to accent with, right down, right down the center. And I didn't really clean my brush, so there's, there's still a little bit of gray in it. And now I'm just going up and down the center with the with my with my color. And now I'm going to kind of blend it together around the outside with some of the gray. So now I have some of my color and some gray and white. And now I'm going to go and blend that in just a little bit on the side here so that it's not. all just in the center now, a little bit of black in there. So it's kind of going from darkest to the brightest color um, in the center. Oops, I got a little bit too much white. And I'm just blending it. And like I said, this is just sort of your experimenting with how you want your paint to look. This is how I'm doing mine, but certainly you might be having it look a little bit different to, to your, what you like. I just painted myself, there we go. So now I'm just putting the gray back in and mixing it with some of my blue color or greenish, greenish bluish color. I'm just going to add a little bit of that blue color a little on the outside, so that it's kind of going to be around our dancer a little bit. Because this center, you might not see too much with your dancer. So I'm going to make this a little bit wider, just so we can see that color that I like. And now I'm giving it really long brush strokes so that I don't see that sort of dabbing line from the brush. So you're just experimenting with how it looks. And that's how I'm going to leave mine. I think I like it like that. And um, don't forget you have edges. You can leave them white. You can um, paint them the darker color, whatever you wanna do for your edges. I'm just gonna kinda unload my brush with whatever's on there and paint my edges. Like I said, this is just kind of an experimentation where you're just kind of washing, washing the color on in long strokes. Now, if you want to make this go faster to dry for our next part you can certainly get a a hair dryer and you know don't get it too close but you can definitely use some air to speed up the process it 
it has to be completely dry. Before we can go on to the next part. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to return to the video once it's dry.